Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Red Men TV. My name is Dan Club, and I'm delighted to say I'm joined by Eduardo Oliveira, former Fluminense youth coach, to speak about Andre. Eduardo, how are we doing, mate? You okay? Yes, man. Always good, and it's a pleasure to talk about uh, Andre with you guys, and hopefully it's going to be a good talking, and uh, we can we can get from there. Yeah, mate, absolutely. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, buddy. Thank you so much for your time. Um, like I mentioned, you were a coach at Fluminense, under-20s, under-17s level. When did you first come across Andre, and what were your initial thoughts when you did meet him? Uh, I, was, I, I worked with Andre from uh, 2018 all the way to 2021. Mm -hmm. So pretty much uh, uh, he was from 17 years old all the way to 20, 20, 20 years old. So he was, he was always a player that impressed me because he is very good on the ball. Uh, he is good physically, so he, he can protect the ball and also build the game up. And defensively, he is a strong body in order to steal the ball and uh, keep possession for our, for our team. So it's, it's, it's something that he always impressed me with the quality that he has on the ball. Yeah, absolutely. You mentioned some of his qualities there. In terms of his technical qualities then, I found an interview you did a few years ago and you said he was an athlete with extreme potential. What was it about him that made you so impressed? What what, what made him stand out from some of the other lads? Uh, I'll give you an example. We we had a goal for him that he could he, he would have to steal 12 balls a game when he was a U-17. And he made that number up to 15. You know, so he's a guy that if you give him a goal, he wants to go up to that goal. You know, he tests himself. So that's something that we always created in, in training sessions and always a game also. So he could, uh, he could just improve himself in different aspects of the game. You know, the second aspect that he improved a lot since he started for the first team at Fluminense was his long-range shot. That's something that he didn't have very well when he was a youth level. And now I can see he's shooting the ball better, but still it's a point of his game that he can improve better, you know what I mean? But he's still, he, he, he does a lot of stuff that in practice in order to, to reach their maximum level, you know. That's something exciting for a coach. Yeah, absolutely. You mentioned there in terms of he's working hard and training. Is that something he's always done? Has he always put the extra effort in? Because... Liverpool recently signed Sobers line. I had some conversations with his managers and his former managers, and they'd say he'd stick around after training. He'd really put the work in. Was Andre similar? Yeah, he, he, I think Andre tries to test himself every time. No, I don't think he's a guy that it's okay with uh, being uh, ordinary, you know, mediocre. You know, he, he just want to be a, a, the best that he can be. I don't know. I never had a, a problem with uh, his ego. Andre is not a guy with the ego. He's always been a captain for for teams in the youth. You know, he had a, a drive to improve, and that's something that it's it's special in a in a in a team. You know, his teammate was João Pedro, that's at Brighton right now, and he, both of them were pretty much the same. You know, they wanted to to beat each other. You know, even though they're different positions. But they, they wanted to just be themselves, you know what I mean? They, there wasn't nothing personal with anybody else in, in the team. It was just them trying to to improve themselves and being the best version that they could be. Yeah, absolutely. You mentioned there, Eduardo, he was a captain in the youth levels. What was it about him that made him a captain, really? Was he a leader? Was he a leader on the pitch? Was he a leader off the pitch? What was it that made him sort of an obvious choice to be a captain of those sides? Uh, Andre is a guy that leads by example. You know, his work ethic, you know, his, uh, his dedication. And he is always a humble guy in order to put the others in front of him. You know, so this is something that I think is uh, the qualities for a leader, the qualities for captains. And that's why he deserved it to be a captain during the time that he was in youth. You know, so this is something that I think uh, he is getting better, you know, with the opportunities to be in the national team now and playing the pros, playing with Marcelo and Fluminense, you know. So I, I, I can I can tell you that probably he's better than he was back in the day when I was coaching him. 
Yeah, absolutely. You said there he's played for Brazil. He's obviously got that one cap as against Senegal recently. Do you think his development in terms of what he's done since he was with you and his development in the first team, do you think he'll go on to become a regular for the Brazil national side? I think so. I think the way that he's doing nowadays is just getting better and better every game. And the Brazilian coach is the same coach that Fluminense is right now, you know, and uh, it's uh, it's a guy that it's he is reliable. You know, I think uh, I think that's a, a perfect word for him. You know, I can see him, Bruno Guimarães, those type of guys. They are very reliable, you know, because they work very hard and they have the skill. You know, so you put those two qualities together. I mean, you can play anywhere in the world. Hey, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that small section of my conversation with the brilliant Eduardo Oliveira. I'm sure you'll agree he was very complimentary about what will hopefully become future Red Andre. If you want to watch or listen to that show in full, head to redmenplus.com now. Sign up as a captain or a legend and you will get that, plus all the other amazing content that we do here at Redmen. And if you use code ENDO, you'll get captain yearly membership for half price. So go over there and get it done.